Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. May the Lord bless your hearts real good. Hallelujah. Once again, this is, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. I said Jesus Christ. I didn't say bishop. I didn't say apostle. I didn't say Queen Elizabeth. I said Jesus. This is the servant of Jesus Christ. R.L. Dunlap Jr. Hallelujah. We greet you all today. I, I, God, I'm excited. I am excited about the word of God. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just excited on how on how the Lord works in us. How the Lord reveal things to us. But we greet you from God the Father who sent his son Jesus Christ into the world. He died for your sin to take your sin away. The sin you got. The perfection you got. Jesus died to take them away. Jesus told you to turn from them. Repent. Some, some, some cloud, some cloud on YouTube contacted me a few days ago. Say, well, repent. Repent me, change your mind. Repent in your mind. Not sin. How dumb can you get? He said, it don't mean repent of sin. It means repent of thoughts. How dumb can you get? Another clown come on TV and say, well, when you give your life to Christ, your mind, your spirit know that you changed. Your mind know that you changed. But it takes a while for your body to to catch up with it. It takes a while for your body to get the message that you belong to Christ. And what, kind, what kind of damn double doctrine is that? All kind of stuff. Where it takes a while for your mind to get the message. You are lying one. Every reason you come to Christ because you won't be saved. Every reason you come to Christ, repent. If you didn't repent, you didn't come to Christ. You didn't repent, you didn't call. You didn't turn from your sin, you didn't call. St. John chapter 3, verse 20. You didn't come to Christ. No, you didn't. All kind of mess going on. But anyway, that's why Jesus Christ came. And Jesus Christ will clean you and wash your sin away. The sin you got, you know what you got. Repent. He said repent. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. You are a sinner, you're not righteous. You repent, you become righteous. Jesus make you righteous. Call on him, believe him, and do that. For with the hard man believe unto righteousness with your heart. That means you believe Jesus Christ to make you righteous. To take away your sin. That means you believe that. Now if you believe that, and if you want that, and if you're ready for that, that day you do, you got to call on it. Who's the one that said, call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be a servant of Jesus Christ. All right. Praise God. All right, let's give you, we need to, we need to give a word of knowledge here. Give a word of knowledge. Give a word like all of the all of the ministers of the gospel. Oh, they have the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom. They have those gifts operating. If you're a minister of Jesus Christ, a minister of the gospel, if you sit to preach the gospel, you ordain a preacher, the preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, you have the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. You have those gifts operating. It is by Jesus and not from your school. It's cemetery. All right. Let's see. I guess about maybe 20 minutes ago, the 
Lord gave me to deal with this leadership leadership people tell you obey leadership follow leadership obey need to have rule over you uh huh now when you talk about leadership get me get me get me get me when you talk about leadership now obey need to have rule over you for they watch for your soul. How do you watch for someone's soul? Give them this. Don't give them you, but give them this. The soul that sinned it shall die. All souls are mine. Hallelujah. But the soul that said it, it shall die. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, thou give him not warning. That same wicked man shall die in his sin, but his blood will I require at your hand, preacher. Uh huh. You got to give the word of God. The Apostle Paul said, woe is me if I don't preach the gospel. How can they hear without a preacher? You know, they're watching for your soul there. <laughs> now, leadership. I almost I was deserve this spirit. The spirit of, deserve the spiritual operation too. Leadership. When people tell you to obey leadership, we only have Number one, we only have one leader, and that's Jesus. For Christ is the head of the church. Not leadership. Not Bishop Blake or nobody else. Christ is the head of the church. And you find that in Ephesians 5, and you find other pastors. Christ is the head of the church. Christ built the church. Upon this rock I build my church. Christ the head of the church. Christ the head of the church. Christ is the good shepherd. Christ. That, that ain't other bishop. I know y'all have good shepherd day. Y'all yeah, are all. They ain't other bishop. That's Christ. Christ gave his life. Yeah. Christ. He is the good shepherd. <laughs> Holly, boy, boy, they didn't want to excite me, boy. Christ is the good shepherd. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's only one head of the church, and that's Christ. All right. Now, mm. I love God's word. Now, when people talk about leadership, we have a great leader. And they, watch this, watch this. We have a great leader. And you talk about your pastor. Wait a minute. And you talk about your bishop. It's your addiction bishop. It, 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 it died a seed bishop and district elder and presided that's who you talking about can we give you some knowledge the Bible say no there's nothing labor among you it didn't say him it said them the Bible speaks about they are worthy of double honor. Let's get that. You know that scripture y'all use to lift up the bishop? Let's see exactly what it say. I think that's Thessalonians. Five. Woo! Hey, I said Jesus. See, you all messed up on personalities. Hallelujah to God. 
I was a uh, test lawyer. Now you got my glasses. Oh, Boy, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the word of God. Here it is. Well, here was uh, this is not why I want here was Thessalonians five. I want to show you this Thessalonians five and twelve. We beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. Esteem them very high in love for their work's sake. It said them. It said them. It didn't say him. It said them. It says them, not him, them. All right. It says them. You see them? Do you see them? Y'all just lift up one man or one woman. Lady this. And bishop this. What about the, what about them that labor among you? And in most cases, the one you lifted up, they ain't labor among you. They love their own belly. I don't give you get up, fall out, roll out. It says Steve Deal. Is it any deal? Deal is more than one. There's everybody that's labeled among you. We had another one. And I don't have my glass. I need to go get it. Then, must not the object tread out the call for the labor and word of his high. If he don't work, don't eat. If he don't work, don't eat. Who are laboring? Is it one man? You lift up, oh, Bishop, I'll leave. Hold it, wait a minute. There are no more kings. God ain't anoint not another king. But Jesus Christ is king. He have not anointed another king. But Jesus Christ is king. He have not anointed Jesus Christ is king. Yeah. It, it, let me give you this. Let, let me give you this. I, I don't care if you old devil like it. Peter 2. Peter 2. Look at what it says. Peter 2 21. For evil hill too were ye called. Because cry, wait a minute, were ye called. Ye, because Christ suffered for, also suffered for us, leaving us, us, us an example that we shall follow his steps. Follow Christ's steps. Who did no sin to evil God found it about? We can't follow Bishop's step, Apostle's step. You can't follow my step. For I have sinned. No, I don't have sinned not because I have repented, but I have sinned. My blood can't save you. I didn't die for you. I, I was born in sin, not Christ. It said, follow his step. Matthew 16, 21. Then said Jesus to his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Now, let me get the word of knowledge here. And discern the spirit and word of wisdom. 
When the people telling you to follow leadership and I will, hold on, people say, well, Apostle Paul say follow me and I follow Christ. Now, if you all would read, I want you to read that. Get that scripture and read that. I believe that Corinthians 11, I believe. Get that scripture and read it. Follow me as I follow Christ. And see what he was talking about. He said, follow me as I have also have followed Christ. See what he was talking about. Matter of fact, let me read that. I think that Corinthians 11, hallelujah to God. My God, I, I, I love God's word. Watch it. You pray for it. Pray for it. Believe that you left. Watch it. 11 1. Pray for it. 11 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Wait a minute. Paul followed Christ. But what did he be when he said, be, be ye followers of me? Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I have delivered unto you. These were ordinances. Then you go on verse 3. Pray and prophesy with your head covered and uncovered. This was the ordinance he was talking about. Then he going to let you know that's his ordinance. That's not God. Then he go down to verse 16 it says, But if any man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the churches of God. K clone. So, when people talk about leadership and they bishop and they got the greatest leader and all that kind of thing and all that, and most of them are not. And all we got the greatest leader and this and this and this and this. We got our Joshua. We got our day. They done. They dead. Don't for you name it. They dead. Jesus is here now. You don't know the Bible days you're doing. Jesus is here now. We ain't got no David here. Ain't no Joshua here. Ain't no Moses here. They dead. Jesus is here. Moses said, one going to be raised up. Him shall ye hear. Now that's Jesus. But when they say all that, you know what they talk about? They talk about the leader. Of your denomination. Of your jurisdiction. They are not talking about the leader of the body of Christ. Because the leader of the body of Christ is Jesus Christ. In the fifth chapter of Ephesians. The apostle said. We look at what he said. Be ye followers of God as dear children. So when the people, when the church of God Christ, ignorant folk, and apostolic and everybody else say, I'm a great leader. They're not talking about the leader of the body of Christ. For the leader of the body of, the body of Christ is Jesus Christ. That's what they talk about. They ain't talking about the leader of the body of Christ. They ain't talking about the leader of the church of God of Christ. In Babylon and everything here. Yeah. They ain't talking about leader of the body of Christ. All right. God bless you. Thank you for viewing. Now you know. Thank you for viewing.